And here's Andrew Jones who led the major leagues with 51 home runs on the season. So why wouldn't you show Bunt on the first pitch? <laughs> Ensberg is saying, go ahead. I'm still going to play way back. Banged into left field, a base hit for Andrew Jones. King it. Adam LaRoche puts one down. Blocked by Ensberg, and they'll give him a sacrifice, advancing Jones on to second base. Well, the talk of Atlanta. Starting right around July this season, in fact, on July the 7th, surrounded primarily Jeff Fran Cooler. The Atlanta Braves first round pick, 23rd overall back in June of 2002. A local product, went to Parkview High School, great baseball player, great high school quarterback, hit 14 home runs, knocked in 45 runs in only half a season. among the names you hear most frequently talked about for the National League's Rookie of the Year despite only playing in 70 games. Fran Coeur, the 14 home runs, a 300 batting average. Willie Tavares, a 291 batter. Led rookies in hits and steals. And then Ryan Howard of the Phillies in just 88 games hit 22 home runs to lead all rookies. I think Ryan Howard will win the award. I think Willie Tavares should. Chicks dig the long ball. with his 22 home runs. Frank Coeur tailed off in his last 60 at-bats, was hitting around a lofty 370, ended up the season right at 300. Great defense. Frank Coeur facing Roger Clemens for the first time in his career here tonight. Now you and I talked about this last week, Tommy. I think the reason why Tavares really deserves it is because he did it all season long. leagues this season that was tearing it up in the clarion ledger in Mississippi a wonderful article written earlier this summer by Rick Cleveland tells a story of Fran Cord walking into the manager's office in June and yelling at his manager saying I can't believe I'm hitting 260 taking an eye away the hitting coach for the Mississippi Braves, Philip Wilman, sat down with him for a long time after a ball game one night. Told him he respected him as a player, respected him as a person, said, heck, I hope my daughter marries somebody like you. But you got to start listening to people and make adjustments. They were on the field in the batting cage until 1.30 in the morning. That night, things got right in a hurry for Jeff Rancourt. extremely impatient Frank Coeur. Frank Coeur has seen six pitches this at bat. He saw seven pitches in yesterday's entire ball game in four at bats. Crowd getting behind their rookie sensation who led the team with a 338 average with runners in scoring position. Another one of those Atlanta rookies they talk so much about. Ryan Langerhans, 267 batter. Eight home runs, 42 runs batted in. Two on, one out, one nothing Houston. Strike one. Marvin Hudson calling the balls and strikes tonight. Langerhans in there because he's left-handed. Jordan got the start in left field last night. Kelly Johnson also a left fielder, but Langerhans the best defensive outfielder of the two. Foul ball. Boy, this will put a couple runs on a board in a hurry if it's about six inches further left. Langerhans grew up in Round Rock, Texas. The 
course that's where the Astros have had a minor league affiliate for a number of years owned by Nolan Ryan swung on and fouled back out of play. Well, the bloodlines of some of these young players on the Braves are amazing when you think about who their fathers are and who their brothers are. Langerhans father was his high school baseball coach coached him to a state championship in Round Rock. Oh two pitch. Then chase his footer down to the dirt. So one and two on Langerhans. Brian McCann's father is the head coach at Marshall University. His brother Brad plays in the Florida Marlins organization hit 29 home runs in a ball this year was the player of the year. Adam LaRoche's brother Andy was the player of the year in the minor leagues for the Dodgers. And then Marcus Giles and Brian Giles. Back for good measure even John Sherholtz's son had a great year in double A for the Braves organization struggled a little bit when they bumped him up to triple A but he's a second baseman in the organization. Two on one out two balls two strikes struck him out with a high fastball. Now McCann he did not start in game one. Played a little over a month and a half for the Braves hit five homers and knocked in 23. They think this kid is going to be a real good one for a long time to come. Braves people telling us that McCann was often overshadowed coming up through the minor leagues because he played on the same team with Frank Core at every level. But they said with guys on base this guy was money. Well, those two guys really keep each other grounded. Not only did they play together all the way through the minor leagues, they've grown up together playing against each other right here outside of Atlanta. McCann never played on the great high school teams that Frank Coeur did. But Frank Coeur will tell you that McCann has the best swing. Hammered in the deep right center field. We said he was money. He's money. from Roger Clemens and a bouncing ball by Smoltz to Biggio but how about this Atlanta team all summer long we heard about their rookies Fran Cordrill walking in and the rookie McCann gives him a 2-1 run lead. 